Say the word Obia to some Jamaicans and immediately a story follows. I get an experience what happened to my father. My father sees a man bus. See, the man tell him, say, the last bus the man sees. I believe you me, I witness to it. Mama one pit me that, you know. And I hope you kill him. We do know nice, nice work. When the evil people them come out, you have all big foot. We look, we see my friend foot broke out. And that's among the many ailments which self-styled prophet Dickie Bonny Elliott says he can help to treat. Calling himself a spiritual worker, the revivalist bishop declared that he's no obia man, but says he can, among other things, remove evil spirits. One of the most effective work to combat anything to do with evil spirit is like the things you use on a natural basis, like for instance, kelyan, vanilla, onion, little things that you really use, things that you don't really use, cook. Salt is one of the most effective things on the face of the earth to combat any form of negative vibration. He explains that his job is to combat witchcraft by using the force of God. But he concedes that based on his work, some people may think he practices obia. So much so that he says the police even tried to arrest him. Some policemen came here from Kingston and I was in the office working so when they came they said they come for read up so I came out and I joined the congregation. Before they reached here the spirit tell me and I said to him I'm reading with them and then when we come out to my surprise he had a, one of them had a bad foot. So when them did a fear while I just get up and say, Well boss, look here now. You come for arrest me today. And you have one bad foot there, where you have sore for years and you can't well. If you want that get better, maybe we get it better. But does he think that Obia should be decriminalized? If they are going to legalize something, and they are referring to Obia, then they are intended to legalize evil. What they should have terms it to be, is that they intend to decriminalization physician work. But the traditional church says it would not encourage people to endorse obia as it thrives on superstition and fear. Feeling that somebody is going to harm you or in your way or you wanting to see how you can move ahead of somebody else. So at its root, based on how it has been experienced in Jamaica, it, is, it tends not to be very neighborly. Reverend Gary Harriet, who is the General Secretary of the Jamaica Council of Churches, also says the attention being given to the issue in Parliament raises questions about the priority of government. Is this something that we should be giving our attention to at this moment? Are there not more serious, impelling issues that we need to attend to? Whereas all our laws, we need to find times, yes, to review our laws. But we have some questions about, you know, the real importance. Is this an issue of priority? Nadine McLeod, TVJ News.